What do you guys think of the center console? Because I think you're the first to really yeah, see wow. it. Yeah, wow. That's the question we were asked when we sat in the Aptera Gamma for the first time by Chris M from Marketing. What do you think of the console? What's more important is what you think of the console. So we asked you and we're going to share some of your comments. But something to keep in mind about the console is it's not a static decision. Right. Like, do you like it or do you not like it? Yes or no. It doesn't work that way. Because like so many things with our beloved Aptera, it's adjustable. Which is cool. Which is cool. Because you can make what you want of it. So let's see what Chris Anthony had to say about it when he was interviewed uh, by Jack Scarlett recently on one of his YouTube channels. Let's, here's what he said. The story behind the center console is that it's made with three different elements and we're going to work with aftermarket suppliers to make those three different elements available to our consumers. Yeah. And they can make them anything they want. They can be chargers, storage, they can uh, you know, be cup holders or yeah. whatever. So how cool is that? It's just another thing in the Aptera that is something we can make to our liking. We can adjust and constantly adjust. And we'll share our thoughts on what we think the console, what would be a good modification for the console in a minute. But first, let's find out what uh, some of them thought. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's start with James England. James England said this, I want a chrome-gated Ferrari-style shifter. And then he backed yep. off of that. Yep. He backed off and yep. then said, okay, that's not happening. Yep. Most likely... One McDonald's sweet tea in the winter and two in the summer. James, don't back away from your dreams, man. <laughs> that would be so cool. And I've given this a lot of thought. Okay. Way, way too much thought. <laughs> I've given this way too much thought, James. But So you have a shifter there and you think, well, maybe it's just a novelty bit. But what if I could program each position to do something different? Ooh. You know, somebody's going to Like be... shift the car. No, you can't shift the car, but... <laughs> You know, one, one, just one, it could be a different sound effect. Oh, okay. You know, you can have like your okay. phasers, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. and your, 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 your warp engage. What if you could make it change the radio station? What if you can connect it somehow so like you shift to change the, what you're listening to? See, that's why she's the brains it behind be this so operation. Fun. So there's so many weird things you could do with like a shifter, you know? So, hey. I love the idea. I love it, James. I so fun. Someone needs to make that. Yes. Uh, but of course, we don't hold a couple of McDonald's, Diet Cokes, or sweet teas, whatever you like. Not a bad idea either. Let's so, move on. Let's do both. Let's do them all. Let's do everything. Let's do it all. Okay, now here's someone who comments quite often, uh, Old Bloom, with the or most... Olay Bloom. Olay Bloom. The We're most, not sure which. The most boring answer oh, we received. No. I'll leave it stock unless it becomes an issue of functionality. Then I'll upgrade uh, whatever it is. Function... Over form is generally what I go for. Well, why don't you just drive a Yugo? No, I get this because <laughs> like Sandy Monroe said, the Aptera is going to be an iconic vehicle. And 20 years from now, he's going to go to sell it and it's going to be all stock. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be worth more. Yeah, maybe. that's cool. But I can see the, the beauty of having this this one-of-a-kind car, this original piece, and wanting to keep it as original as possible. I get that. I'm a, I'm a car person. I can see the appeal of that. And I not, mean, I'm not doing that, but yeah. I can see the appeal. And just to make sure, uh, Mr. Bloom, that you're not all alone in Borningstown, Carol Monroe, channel member, family <laughs> member, full disclosure, I'm going to take it like it comes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but then she talked about what to do with the programmable buttons on the that's a whole nother that's a whole nother episode what to do with the programmable buttons on the yoke coming oh, soon coming soon <laughs> to a youtube channel well. near you very very near you okay w one more then we're going to share some of our thoughts okay okay so this one came from mr zilla he said this now that i think <laughs> about <F>. it <laughs> zilla <laughs> he said i think about a, a phone holder and stand in front for maps music with cable holes for charging then, two to four cup holders, depending on how much you want to reduce your range between breaks. Um, side note, it won't reduce your range at all because you'll just be using the 12-volt DC battery to charge he your cell phone. He means if you have how much you have to stop. If there's room, a catch-all <laughs> bin for paper, <laughs> laptops, etc. And I really like this. Otherwise, maybe a swing-out laptop desk office. Sarah and I work in the car all the time, not while we're driving. No. 
But well, one of us is driving and one of us is working right. a lot of the time. But many times we stop, we do a lot of work on our phones, we do a lot of work on a Chromebook, Sarah. So something to swing out, boom, and have it right there in front of you while you're mm -hmm. parked at McDonald's eating a six-piece nugget, and then you could just work away. That's an awesome idea. Awesome. Okay, great ideas. Yeah. Thanks for sharing those with us. In the comments, if you haven't had a chance to share what you will do with your console, let us know. Here's a couple of our ideas. Who's going first, you or me? I mean, I'll go, I would like a pocket, like a pocket attached to the side or the front somewhere so that I can, you know, store stuff. Like cassettes? A cubby. I like <laughs> See, to squirrel things away. I have does. to have extra napkins with me. I have Straws, to have- Straws, receipts. I, to, I mean, you never know. I, gum yeah. wrappers, lots of gum wrappers. A fork, we, one time we were in our car and they didn't give me a fork with my salad. So I'm like, am I supposed to eat this like a brontosaurus? Like, Gotta have a fork. Everybody needs a fork. So, you know, if you have a spare, I would like a little hidey hole cubby. Okay, and here's, good, thank you. And here's what I'm thinking, crazy Chad. I don't want it to be the same because what are we doing? If we're camping, then we're going to want a different console set up than if we're going to work. If we're going to work, it'd be nice to have a charging bank in there for several, seven or eight camera batteries, you know, an automatic, you know, phone chargers to make sure everything's juiced up when we go. And wouldn't it be nice if when I remove that, it has a strap and boom, it just becomes a bag and carry all my accessories. So essentially what you really want your console is like a peg. So like a, like a Lego brick peg that you can just stick no, on they snap whatever in. you they, want right yeah was well, kind of yeah but they snap yeah. in place and i could see a situation where we walk in our house and we have a wall and on that wall is hanging all the different modules console modules right because we don't know what we need if we're going camping wouldn't it be nice if one was a little waste bin oh and it could kind of hold the bag in place you could tie it up throw it but another waste bin so there's all kinds of different things. The ideas are endless, and that's what we love. One of the things we love about the Aptera. Yeah. It's built for real people in real life situations. Right, and the view of the company that they want to be able to share specs, like what's the size of the console? What if I wanted to have something mounted so I could change things in and out, then they want to be able to share like the CAD models or whatever you need in order to develop aftermarket stuff. And I think it's genius because they don't have to have it, all these different options so you can pick what you want for production, which would delay production because they have to have all these different things. They're like, here's how it's coming, but you have some fun with that and we're going to support you in doing it. I love that approach. Yeah, one of you should go by the, the internet address apteramods.com. Just a minute. Okay, we're back. <laughs> anyway, uh, forget yeah, that last forget thing. Forget anything about that. <laughs> Nobody, nope. Forget about all, <laughs> none of that is anything. We need to say thank you to some very special people with us. Yes. Jerry and Helen, thank, thank you. you. You know why. We can't tell you how much we appreciate uh, what you've done for us recently. Bob Newchow, you are such an excellent, positive support for the channel. Not only do you buy us coffee, thank you, yes. but you provide really cool art that we've been able to post, which we enjoy yeah, doing Yeah, beautiful. That. And we also need to thank someone. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, someone. Because we got an <laughs> anonymous <laughs> yes. cup of coffee from so someone. So we don't know who to thank, which is really hard for us, but you know who you are. You know who you are. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And one more. Jay Busby, one of our channel members and one of the friends of the channel who has been really good support for us. We can't thank you enough. Thank and you. And if we haven't said it yet, our members. Thank you, members. You keep the wheels churning on the Drive the Lightning YouTube channel. We cannot thank you enough. Yes. If you like this channel, tell all your friends. Yes. If you don't like it, don't tell don't anybody. Don't tell anybody. Keep it real Just keep quiet. it to yourself. We got some really exciting <laughs> stuff to come. So stay tuned, subscribe, all that stuff. More Aptera videos? You want one? You want one more? Just one more? Okay, right here. That's it. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much. You know, it's a lot of all that negative talk. Like, you try getting in and out of these things? I had no problem getting in that thing. And I got this with me. I brought this <laughs> with me today. <laughs>